yep back out again another week different location coastal camp never been on a coastal camp for a while so here we are and what a coastal coast like that it's rugged this will be the west coast over there it's Stranra it's the Isle of Man over there I love man. <laughs> no, I don't. What? Hold on. Um, but we're just gonna. What I did was this morning I went for a walk along these cliffs of terror, and they are cliffs of terror. There's just no fences up. You could just easily drop. Anyway, I know we meant to do like a mile, but I ended up doing. I think I walked six and a half miles. <laughs> six and a half miles, looking for somewhere to pitch. So I got I got to here basically and then I turned around and went back. Um so I've come back because I found a couple of spots along here. Oh, let's get through this gate off then it's wrong. Ah, it's all gone. It's all gone pit tong. I can't get through the gate. Look at this. What a, what a palaver. Yeah. Well, lad. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I found a few good spots along here. I mean, what a place. The views are amazing. Oh, right in it, right in it. So we're just going to have a little wander. And set up, really, that's it. Have a look at this lovely coastline. Jagged. Extreme tides coming in as well. I'm hoping I can get down and have a bit of a ratch about. Hopefully. So we're just walking down um, a little path to St Ninian's Cave. Go and have a look at that. This is, this is uh, basically just a bit of touristness. The farm. Still works, you know. A lot of rust. Crops there. Ripseed oil. Well, it's turning over now. That will be ready to harvest soon. Summer has well and truly started. I love little country lanes like this. Nice. This is no overnight parking in the car park, which is just up at my plans probably do it anyway I think that means like you can't camp there sleep there and I'll not be in the van though so does that technically count does that count so you come down that forest track through the woods really down and then it opens up to the sea there we go um, hmm, dunno, not 100% sure, I'll check, but this is the cave, that's where I'm headed, the cave. Now I've got to get up there somehow, have a look up there, see what it's like. Underwhelming. Ooh. Well, that's it, that's the cave. St. Ninian's Cave. Named after Arthur Ninian, who came here camping. So 
to have walked for miles miles and here we are and there she sits it's back the summer tent so many configurations of this tent i don't think i've set it up the same way twice to be fair <laughs> every time i put it up it seems different i don't know but the breeze coming in this way so that's why that wings out got my little chair my table that's my view sitting watching the dolphins there's no dolphins like but you know there's plenty of seagulls i'm not too close to the edge it's not a sheer drop either so it's safer look at these two aye aye all right i've moved in live with it and I've got the other nesting birds like but you know there's no signs up there's no signs saying no parking no camping and out it's great you can sort of obviously you've got to leave no trace but you've not they just don't seem bothered uh, anyway so that's that it's still early so i'm gonna just sit here and chill out staring out to sea with beer i can't think of anything really i'd rather be doing be back in the van tomorrow i'm hoping to go and get a bit of paddle boarding done and then just chill out in the van that'll be nice uh, back home on monday Nice long weekend, make the most of it. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. This little radio, still going. Mint. Picks up the signal here, no problem. Solar panel on, keeping the power up. Beer. I'm just on the little stumpies tonight, so I've got nine of them. Nine. 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 Nine cans. But they're just half size, so it's only four and a half, really. Uh, this is it. I'm just hoping to see some uh, action. Some whales or something. I think that's island, not whales. Hey, <laughs> yeah. uh, And that way is the Lake District. On a clear day, apparently you can see Scarfell Pike. But not today, it's a bit hazy. The sun's came back out anyway. No, there's a big cloud came over before. Slight breeze to keep the midges off. It's all good. Loving this, like, having this. Not a soul about either. So we'll just have a look at the setup of the tent. Somebody was asking us about the seam ceiling on this. It was done when I got it. It's on the outside, it's quite neat. Who has done that? It's done a good job. Right. Oh, so I've got my stove all set up. Burger buns, I'm having burgers with bacon again tonight. How was the bacon, did you say? Got the mesh closed because it's a bit buggy around here. There's a lot of flying things knocking about, but you know, nothing dangerous. So I've got the quilt, got the summer bag, the old t shirt with the pillow under it. Trick that's a good idea. There'll be enough room in there. I got the, the Claris Light CL3, links in the description if you want one of them. That's for later. Down jacket just in case that wind picks up. Right, I've got the pole set quite quite high, 130, um, 140, about 160. That's, that's as high as it'll go, 160. I mean, this tent's all right, if you like that sort of thing. But if you're claustrophobic, you might not like it. See, I don't mind. I don't mind it being down on my face and that and tight. I just don't. So I've got that wing out there. And this one's just giving it a bit of shelter. I'll be sitting back here, cooking in here later on. Is that a tick? 
think that might be just to get that off and then I've just got me set up there right I'll just get rid of this this tick I think it is I tiny little one might not be like I haven't got big specs on I can't really see to zoom in on it just all tight everything's tight and the because of the breeze I've put these guy lens out so that should stop it so I've got it out I've got it by pulling its head with the tweezers right you get it and then you twist it you twist it because they dig in you know they dig in like that so you've got to twist it to get make sure you get the head I checked I had the whole thing his head's not left buried I can't believe there's ticks around here damn you damn you all I've never had tick on us in the um all the time I've been coming the last two trips I've had a tick on each time bloody things I'll have to check myself now ah get the mirror matron here we go and then we're uh, starting on the food caramelized red onion and red leicester beef burgers brioche buns and that's the bacon how oh, was the bacon did you see that's the bacon i had left over from this morning can use that up just sitting down here because it's a little bit breezy so i'm keeping out the wind get these in can't believe i had a tick on my hand like, on my arm Bloody things Paranoid now. There we go. Just gonna let them sizzle away. Chuck the bacon in. Buns. I've got no saucer out. Alright, not to worry. This is still my view. Here we go. Put the bacon in. Nice. Just uh, chugging along nice. The bun's ready. The seagulls are going mad. They must know. They must know I've got food. Just a quick one. Done. Oh, look at that. Come on. That's a burger. That is a big kahuna burger. And no mistake. Craig Charles is on. Beer. Kahuna burgers. That view, sun. You tell me, what's not to like? The wind, the little breeze, too much of a breeze. <laughs> As I was stomach. Well, I'm just sitting here, chilling out. Dolphin watching. I see no dolphins. I thought it was a sea lion in the water before, but it's just a rock. <laughs> Bloody sea lion. The sea's lying. I'll just come down here and have a look. There's this bird here. This is the only one that doesn't fly away. All the rest take off. You're the only one that stays, aren't you? You know, my pal. Watch his, watch his last take off. I'll be quite close. Yeah. Yeah, see? He's the only one that stays. You know, don't you? I'll tell you what it is, it's sketchy here. Let's take the time lapse out for that. Don't think I'm gonna catch it because it's here now and it's gonna it's gonna drop behind there, so we may not get a very good sunset. Not high enough. But what a place. What a place. It's a marvellous place for a sun dance. Hey, I'm tired. Really tired. I'm looking forward to going to bed. I don't want to go too early though. Because I'll just be up blooming four o'clock or something. I'll be up too early. If I go to bed too early, I'll be up too early. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, then I, uh, what can I do? That's it though. This is where I am. Makes a nice change. Coastal camp. I'm 
what a coast. What a coast. Volcanic rock, isn't it? Igneous volcanic rock. down all the birds are in in the pajamas we've all got the pajamas on I need to go away for a wee some people up there on the hill there don't know what they're doing but I'm just uh, on my last couple of beers and then that's it really getting in it's gone chilly you know my hands are cold look how cold they are Right. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting in with the, the summer bag and the quilt. Should be nice and warm, cosy. It's nice and flat, so I'm not going to be rolling about. But yeah, that's it. It's been. It hasn't been a very eventful camp this right, but it's been so relaxing. And after the week I've had at work and the week to come, that's exactly what I needed. The whole weekend's been just great. I mean, it's only it's only Sunday tomorrow. I could do this next weekend, technically, but I won't. But I could. But I won't. But I could. But I won't. Right. Enough. Campers, everybody, non campers. Here's the view. I'm sitting under the wing because uh, the wind's blowing the back of the tent now. It's really strong. Woke us up in the middle of the night, the wind's blowing. But that's alright, this tent can take that. It's a great configuration. It's got loads of condensation, right? How has this happened? Is it because it was hot during the day and then it got cold at night? That's my theory on condensation. Anyway, a cup of tea. I'll get this on. And then, oh, I think about getting the set off. I don't know where to go next. Check the weather forecast and uh, but, uh, just make it up as I go along. So, get this boiled. Oh, we're off. Be ashamed to leave this place. It's a lovely little spot. Right then, we are off. So as you can see, flat grass. There's a half burned tick down there somewhere as well. Bloody things. Didn't want to leave like. I'm tempted to go and get some more beer and just stay there another night. I see you trotting me mate, my best pal. I'll see you later. He's the only one who's never flown away. I've named him Cliff. Cliff the Seagull. Right. I don't know if you can make out the colour of that water. Try it with a polarised filter. It's very clear, right? But there's also some massive jellyfish down there. I've seen them earlier. That's what I wanted to go down and have a look at. But I think you've got to go right the way over there. There's some lads fishing on them rocks there. You can't get down here, like, it's too dodgy. Anyway, that's it. Another camp done. Lovely spot. Just what the doctor ordered. So I'm back in the van tonight. I'm doing a separate video as well of this trip in the van. So, just, just for something to do. A bit publishing, a bit content. I just take one last look at my little spot before I set off back. That was it. Not bad, eh?
nice and peaceful views for miles, literally. Rugged cliffs, sea, what more do you want? Right, let's see what today brings.